Hey, Roulette Grinders, Roulette Grinder here with you. We have some exciting news today on the channel. We've launched the Double Zero Membership Roulette Grinder Fan Club. And what this means is you'll get lots of perks, and we have more perks in the works for you. Um, you'll get early access to my new videos. You'll get proud replies in the comments. You'll get shout outs in the videos. Now the big keys here are your roulette system. Let's say you have a roulette system. You want me to try live in one of my sessions, you will get priority try of that system. So if you are a double zero club member, I will play your system before anyone else's. And you'll also receive step-by-step -step instructions of all the methods and systems used on the channel for that day. So it's only $1.99 a month and lots more perks to come. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for joining. And we'll see you on the next show. On um, the Let Grinder, thank you so much for joining. Please go ahead and give the channel a like. Uh, much appreciated. Just go ahead and hit the little thumbs up button. It really means a lot. Um, thank you to all the members who have joined up for the Double Zero Club. It's our new club where you get perks uh, for being a member. Um, Josh, Jay, and Kurt B are the first two members. So shout out to Josh and Kurt for joining up. Uh, they'll be getting a how-to guide of all the roulette strategies I play in today's session, and they'll have access to the early release of the video and any other bonus content I have. Uh, so thank you again, Josh and Kurt. So go ahead and please sign up for the Double Zero Club, and you might hear your name on screen. Uh, you're probably wondering, where did FanDuel go? Um, so I have now transferred from FanDuel $500 into Mohegan Sun, the other 550 that was left, I have put it in the vault. I want to save my money. I want to have some in the kitty. Um, I'm perfectly fine with having a little extra. I don't want to blow all of my money. So as a little safety net, I've stored it away in the vault. Now, what that leaves us with is $32 in BetMGM. I'm still having a ton of issue getting on the live table BetMGM. So the $32, rather than withdrawing it and putting it in a Mohegan Sun right now, I figured we'd go ahead and have some fun and play a crazy slot machine on BetMGM, and whatever balance is left over will transfer into Mohegan Sun. If there's nothing left, BetMGM is gone. So Mohegan Sun and Stake is where I'll be playing for right now. Eventually, we'll be moving my money from Stake over to Mohegan Sun, but I want to continue to play on Stake because some other things I want to try on there. So again, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for all the comments, suggestions. Uh, let's get over to uh, BetMGM and play our slot, and then we'll get into some roulette later on. Okay, we're back. This isn't necessarily a slot machine. We have $32 here on BetMGM. But this is pretty wacky. Um, I'm not sure. This is some live game show. We'll bet 50 cents on these six spaces. I guess you get two times, 10 times, and then bonus games. So we'll put out a $3 bet and see what happens here. Um, Let's try it. And again, we're having some fun. Um, this is not a slots channel. So $32, let's play with and see what happens. And I guess we want to get one of those four bonuses. Like, crazy time would be a good bonus to get. Something must happen. So um, probably we'll lose the $32 here. Uh, don't recommend this, but I wanted to have some fun with you guys to start off the day today. So let's go back and repeat the bet. Let's go ahead and put more on the 2 and the 10 just in case it hits. Those seem to be like the bonus. So... It's a $4 bet. This could go rather quickly, I think. Um, but we got to get one of these bonuses to hit, I guess. Um, I'm not playing the 1 or the 5 because uh, the odds are pretty s not very good for 1 to 1. The 5 is 5 to 1. I can't see the 5 hit much, so I'm seeing the 2 and the 10 probably hitting the most. And the 1, obviously, but let's see what happens. Oh, there's going to be the 1, isn't it? Oh, we got the 2. We got 1. So we get 2 bucks, I believe, on that. Crazy time. Let's make sure we're recording here. We are. This is crazy time on BetMGM. We won $3. All right, that brings us to 28. Let's repeat the bet. It seemed to work a little bit. We want to avoid the one and the five, and we got to get one of these bonuses. And it looks like a few of these bonuses did come out recently, so maybe that's bad. If we're talking in roulette terms, maybe it's bad, but there are four of them, so let's see what happens. This guy is loving his job right now. He's a game show host on a casino website. This is awesome. We're looking for one of these bonus games. Cash Hunt, Coin Flip, Pachinko, or Crazy Time? Come on, two again. We got two again. All right, there we go. 
I mean, we're losing money, but we're having fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, repeat that. Again, shout out to Josh and Kurt for signing up to the Double Zero Club. Uh, appreciate it. The link is down in the description of this video, and there's also a join button right below the video. So please go ahead and sign up. Uh, it's only a dollar ninety nine to join. It's going to be a, a lot more to come, a lot more person benefit down the road as we grow this channel. We're playing some crazy time on a roulette channel. Okay, let's get that pachinko. Can we get it? No, the one. That's bad. So if you have a strategy for crazy time game, let me know in the comments. I've never really played this before, but. This is pretty wild. Maybe I should lower the bet, double the bet. I don't know what the answer is, but we need a two or a 10. Well, we need the 10 to really hit is what we want. Um, I could put money on everything. I don't think that's the way. I think you need to pick your battle. So we're down $13 on crazy time, but it's okay because that MGM is going bye-bye. So. so the number two gets a two X. So we want to get a number two here. That'll be four times. That would be good. Get that two. No, not the five. Crazy time. Okay. We got to get one of these little bonus games to hit is what it is. All right, we're down to $15 on crazy time. Down to 15. We want to get one of these coin flip, cash hunt, pachinko, and crazy time bonuses to hit. This seems like a sucker game to me. This really does, but let's have some fun. Oh, we don't have anything on the five. That'd have been 20 times, 4X. So we know that five's not gonna hit. Oh, Pachinko was close. No bonuses today, everybody, on the crazy time. Why don't we just get crazy? and just bet the bonuses at this point. They haven't hit in a while. Let's see if we can get one for a dollar and just go that way at this point. <clears throat> Come on, one of those bonuses. You know two and 10 are hitting now. You know that's gonna happen. Come on, coin flip, cash hunt, pachinko, crazy time. Let's go, this is crazy. <clears throat> oh, sure, two, three X and two's gonna hit for six X. Here we go. Come on, coin flip. Ah, uh, the two for six. I hate gambling. Gambling is not fun, kids. Don't do it. Definitely don't do it. Not worth it. That's okay. <laughs> fun. We're going right back to those bonuses. <clears throat> Live or die with the bonuses. Live or die. This guy has so much energy. He's pepping me up. Crazy time. I want that suit. Where do you get that suit? I love it. With the strings on the, the what do you call that? On the, the shoulder thing. Strings. I like that a lot. Could I wear one of those on stream? That'd be cool. Come on, Wheel. Come on, wheel. Crazy time, coin flip. Let's go. We need a bonus for a change here. Get to that coin flip. Oh, man. Oh, now it's the 10. You are just hurting me now, Wheel, on purpose. I switch over to all the bonuses only, and now you get the 10. This game. Forget it. All right. We're going to go back down so we have a couple more spins at it. We're going to go $2 bets. We have a couple more runs at it, and that'll be it. And there's our $32 down in crazy time. Oh, well, folks. You live, you learn. <laughs> We're going to have some fun on Mohegan and Steak today. Oh, number five. 3X for 15X. Don't do it. Crazy time. I guess I'm looking at the piggies. There's the two again. Yeah, I guess the strategy was to stay on the 2 and the 10 because they're hitting like crazy now. 2-10-2, two, two. look at that when I switch. Uh, don't you love it? Don't you absolutely love it? 2-10-2. Two, two. We're sticking with it, man. We got another shot at this. $32, god, really quick. Oh well. That was fun. Bye-bye, bad MGM. It was fun, it was nice knowing you. But you didn't help me, no support, no nothing. Couldn't fix my issue. Um, we're done with you. Oh, we got coin flip. We got one, finally. And it's a 3x. Look at that. 3x on our 50. So they flip a coin? What is going on here? 
Ah, we need big multiplier. Let's go. We're going red. Right? We pick red. We're picking red. How do we pick the red? Oh, is you flip it and that's what you get? That's when you use the strategy when the numbers come in. I'm going to try to take us to Bonus City. Oh, no. I want blue. I want blue. Come on, blue. I want blue instead. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Hey, 75x. Let's go. 38 bucks. We're now up to 41. That was crazy. No more crazy time. We're done. We're out. I'm going to be right back. We'll pick another slide. Be right back. Okay, we're back. I, I played this in a real casino, Lucky Larry's Lobster Mania. We're going to try Lucky Larry's Lobster Mania here. Um, okay. Sound on? All right. How do we bet this here? 90 cent bet? We're at $41 now. Um, how do we increase our bet? 75, 90, 60, a dollar 20, a dollar 50. Uh, we'll go with a dollar fifty bet. This could go very fast. Also, uh, here we go. Let's spin. Lucky Larry. Ooh. So the lobsters are wild. We need that, and we need the the lobster mania guy. It looks like there. So I haven't played this in a long time. Let's see what we get here. And this forty one dollars could go very fast. It probably will. Oh, that's nothing, huh? Okay, scatters. We probably need three of those. I would think. Got a while. Did we get anything for that? Oh, nothing. Okay. Come on, Larry. Okay, that's something. That's uh, 420. 420. All right, 420. Here we go. Back to 3920. So the boats, maybe. I think we got boats and something. 290. Come on, Larry. Let's get it. Okay, that's something. That's that's $1.40. 10 cents off, all right. Let's get the bonus. Almost three scatters would have been good. Almost. Okay, we got these uh, booty things, whatever. Okay, 250. All right. Okay, 60 cents. I'll take it. That's a lot of wilds. That should be something. 50. That's wilds. It's good. For a 250 win. Okay, got the buoys. Oh, that looked nice, but I guess you need those symbols or three of those or okay. Nothing there, nothing there. <clears throat> okay, the uh, pearl got us a little bit, 50 cents. Let's see if we can get a bonus on this thing. One scatter, not two scatters. Yeah. Nothing there with the wild? Ugh. Oh, two scatters, two scatters. <clears throat> All right, come on, Larry, give us something. Looks like Larry's gonna take our money to the depths of the ocean, I think. All right, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> we are playing slots on the roulette grinder again. I'll go figure. <clears throat> we are down to 2660. Ooh, that would have been nice, I think, but we're missing some symbols. Okay, we got a dollar ten. Looks like we got the wild there. We got the boat. Okay, we got four boats, it looks like. That's a big win. That's a $10 win for the four boats. I like it. I like it. Come on, scatter. Nope, no, we need three or four of those, I would think. Nope, no go, no go. Oh, we got three lobster manias. That's a bonus. That's good. We got quick one. Oh, uh, this guy. Four picks. All right, four buoys. Let's go. We got the booty bonus. I mean, I love so many lobsters. Oh, I got to go green. To How about giving me a hand? Got to go both greens. Let's not stand here yakking. I still love blue, and, and then this crazy off with that. So that's what we're doing. We're picking up some blues. Let's go. Come on, big lobsters. Big. 
Big lobster. Oh, you're gonna eat all, all right. That. $7 lobster. We'll take it. All right. Hey, now. Watch it. Worth 50. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, Ooh, that hit him. That hit him. Five dollars. Some of these lobsters. Death throw the one back. Abs. Keep going. Four fifty. Keep going. All right. Oh, oh it got him in the nose. Fifty. That's a dog. Throw it back. Let me Five fifty. It's a good one. Pick it. Pick it. Get off of there. Yeah, it's a small one. More. Lobster. Oh, seven dollar lobster. Yeah. Seven dollars. Yeah. Oh, that's it. He's done. Okay. That's a good bonus. That's like uh, 40 bucks. Well, we $40.50. Well, yeah. we'll again. It brings us to $67. Playing slots here at Ben and Ben. Let's go. The roulette grinder gets the slot grinder. All right. I do not endorse. I do not endorse. You should not play slots. They are the worst odds you could have. But... We won. All right, $67. I think that we are going to cash out our $67 and say goodbye to BetMGM forever. So that was fun, everybody. We'll see you in a little bit. And we're back. I wanted to uh, bring the sheet back up and note that I'm going to be transferring that BetMGM money into our vault. Um, eventually, we'll get into Mohegan Sun. But for right now, we'll go ahead and put the $67.70 we just won on MGM and we'll put it in our vault, and that'll be $986.84. Uh, so we have a little cushion there in case we blow all of our bankroll. Um, that's the idea. So we're going to go ahead and get over to um, starting the day on steak, believe it or not, today. And we're going to try a method that Roulette Rounders had for automated roulette. And I'll probably lose my shirt, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll be right back. And we're back on stake. I wanted to show you that I am vaulting 1,092 of our money into the vault. And I'm gonna play with $200 roulette rounders um, system method on the automated roulette. I just don't trust myself or the game. So I'm storing that money to the vault. So now we have $200 to play with. I'll be right back to set up the game. And we're back. So we have the $200 uh, remaining. I vaulted the rest of it. Roulette Rounders, check out his site on YouTube, plays um, a really cool low starting bet um, recovery system of splits, which is really incredible to watch it work. And I'll be trying that as soon as I can figure it out effectively. But he showed us on his channel today a crazy automated roulette strategy with the electronic roulette here on stake. Um, we're playing in dimes and we're gonna give his strategy a shot. So um, it's only $200, I don't wanna lose it, but he won $100 off doing it. He says it's like a video game because the algorithm, you have to play it as a video game. So let's give it a shot. So let's start on zero is what he did for 10 cents and then he worked his bets that way. So let's go and play this game here, 10 cent bets. And I've turned the animations off. So that is a 29. So in essence, we have to count. We gotta go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we bet $1.20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we'll spin it again. And he says this algorithm, uh, the more you bet, it just, it, it works. So let's try it now. That's the 36, so now we need to add. So we go four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, go watch his video because it worked for him today. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. We're betting in dimes, we're, we're down a little bit. Let's see what happens. So now we have the 11 that hits. So we have to go three, four, five, six. Okay. We got the zero. Well, that doesn't help us very much. I had 10 cents on the zero. <laughs> of course. All right, let's continue to play the same role here. 36 is a hit. That's a $46 gain. I think I might call quits. <laughs> That's a $46 hit on the 36. Um, I, I guarantee you if we keep playing, we will lose our money. I trust roulette rounders. I really do. He got it all the way up to 100 because this what happens is 
you clear it and you start over and then you go down, right? And then the algorithm catches up and it, it lets you win a little bit less than what you won before, like a snake. Um, I mean, that's 46 bucks in that crazy thing here. That's, that's pretty cool to start off the day. Um, roulette rounders, no offense. We're gonna take the money and run because I don't trust it. I don't. All right, I'm gonna pause. We'll be right back. All right, wanted to bring you back here. We're on MGM. We're on Mohegan Sun. I'm sorry, Mohegan Sun Casino. We have um, a daily free spin. We got a wheel game for a three million dollar bonus. I wanted to play it just in case we get some kind of bonus win or something. Uh, we're up eighty-two dollars to start the day. Uh, let's see what happens with this bonus game here. Click wheel to spin. So. Let's see if we get the $2 bonus, or the $1 bonus, I bet. Let's see if we get it. Here we go. $1 bonus coming up. $1 bonus. So just so you can see, we won a $1 bonus. We get to claim it now. Thank you for playing. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna go set up the game, be right back. We're back at Mohegan Sun. We're at the, uh, the live table. It doesn't seem like anybody is playing right now. Um, Again, the minimum bet is a dollar. We're at a 588 balance. Um, this wheel is gonna go a lot quicker today because there's nobody gambling at 10 in the morning at resorts on this wheel in Atlantic City. Um, again, I like to play when there are a lot of people at the table. Your decisions aren't rushed, but it is a live wheel and it has no memory and has no bearing of who's at the table, honestly. Um, why don't we play uh, last corner to hit and add a corner and then go up on our stake. So we'll start with the dollar on the two, three, five, six corner. And then we will add the next last corner to hit and so on and so forth. And then we will raise our stake until we get a hit. So 588 is where we're starting. We're, we're playing the add a corner method here. Um, remember, we're up $82 today to start between slots and crazy automatic roulette over on stake. I don't know how that happens. So um, let's see if we can make another 70 bucks. Let's see if we can do it today um, with this, trying out this corner system for a little bit. And if it doesn't work, if we get down back to 500 bucks, I'm gonna call it quits for it. So we'll go either up to 650 or 500. Um, I'll stick with it here. Um, so adding the last numbers corners is how we're gonna play this right now. Not sure if it's the best strategy, not sure if it's a working strategy, but that's what we're going to do. Again, thank you everyone for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing with your friends. It means a lot to me. Um, really appreciate all the support. We're having a lot of fun doing this uh, for you guys and trying to make a profit, but at the same time having some entertainment value. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, any suggestions in the comments, anything, video quality, audio quality, music, what games to play, um, things like that. So, and go ahead and join the Double Zero Club. A lot of perks and benefits there. Um, it's only $1.99 a month. So we have a 18, I believe. No, 10, sorry, 10. So we we'll repeat the original bet. And now we add a dollar on the seven, eight, 10, 11 corner. And we're gonna do this either two or three more times, I haven't decided, and then go up a unit each time there's a loss. This could get very expensive or this could be profitable. We're gonna see what happens here. Some of these corners don't hit for many spins. Um, Joe Croupier, as I mentioned before, has a tool uh, on his site that you can have triggers for the corners and it tells you how long it's been since a corner has been hit. What I noticed with a lot of these wheels is there's a lot of repeat numbers in that same section of that number hitting. So that's what we're banking on here. Um, so we're covering eight numbers right now. Um, we're gonna advance to 16 numbers and go from there. So we're just betting the corners right now, corner strategy. And again, if this slows down, I will pause between spins. Make sure we're recording, we are, okay. So here we go, we are at 588 is where we are profit right now. 588 is where we started. All right, we have a $2 bet. We're looking for the two to six or the seven to 11 corner. 
and 588 was our profit, our level. So here we go. And we will add the next corner to come on in. Last corner to hit. Hope you guys are all having a great Wednesday. It's a nice day out here in the East Coast. 27. So we move over down the board. Repeat the bet and we need to add the 27 corner. 26, 27, 29, 30. So it's a three dollar bet. We're looking for these corners to hit. Uh, I can't believe that we hit on the Lucky Larry slot. That was pretty cool. And I can't believe that we hit on the Crazy Time casino game at BetMGM. Uh, maybe I should have left my money in there and just played slots over there. Maybe that's the method is to play slots on this channel and not roulette. Um, something to think about. I mean, maybe I was just really lucky, but the slots, they paid off for us again. We've been very lucky with slots on this channel. Go back and watch day one. I'll put a link to the video right here. We hit a massive bonus on a free play for slots. That was really crazy. I believe it was a Buffalo slot. The game kept going and going and going. All these crazy bonuses. I, I'm not a huge slot player, but it was a ton of fun to watch the bonuses pile up. So maybe we'll add some more slots intertwined in our roulette play. Um, that would be fun. I'm, I'm all for it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me play slots every now and then. It's probably a losing game, but maybe there's a slot machine out here that has some kind of pattern because I've seen Roulette Profit and Stop plays a certain slot and it's very pattern oriented. When he gets certain things to spin, the next couple spins, he knows what's going to happen. So um, they are random, but they're not random at the same time. So we're, we're waiting a long time for this spin. Not sure what's going on. There's nobody placing bets here. Um, that's okay. We'll take a little break. We'll, we'll chat it up here. Uh, let me know if you had a chance to watch Fallout because that is my favorite show right now. So, again, Fallout's a great show. And here we go. And I hope you guys are loving the content and checking out my short videos. I'm having fun making the shorts, uh, which link to these videos. Uh, shorts are a lot of fun. So go check those out in this shorts section. Um, and any suggestions for the shorts, I appreciate it. 11 is a hit, boom, we got it. There's our corner, $9, brings us to 591. That is a profit of $3. So we will go back to the 11, right back at it. 11 is my favorite number, as you know, it's my birthday. So 11 has always been good to us. 11 is good. And we have some internet issues, here we go. Let the fun begin. Wow, we have two people playing online that won and nobody at the table. So again, I, I just love it when there's more action at the table. There's more chips being thrown around. The, 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 the croupier, the dealer's busy doing stuff. You know, you have some time to think on your bets. Um, I, I just love that. I don't like the quick go, go, go. But here, this dealer's just kind of whatever, you know, la, 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 just waiting around, having some fun. But that's okay, we'll be fine. Let me know what you think of the corner strategy, how you would play it any differently. Um, again, the double zero members will be getting a document, whether it's in PDF or Word, I don't know what form yet, on instructions on every system I play during this day's roulette sessions. I don't have a slot how to, but the roulette I will. This one is a fairly easy one, so not even sure they need the instructions, but I will provide it, that's part of the double zero membership. So if you wanna learn new strategies and I'm going too fast explaining it or you missed it on the video or want something explained, I'll be doing a document on all the different strategies we play here on this channel. And again, you can submit your strategies. There is a link to a Google form in the description of this video. So there's a five. So we're going back to where we were before. This is the same kind of pattern that we had before because we had the three earlier. So let's repeat the bet. And now we go ahead and add the two, three, five, six corner. So this is mirror imaging what we happened before. So so let's see if we can stay in this side of the board and, and get a hit here. Just doing nice, easy dollar bets here because they will escalate as we go up units on misses. So we don't want to go too nuts with starting bets. All right, there is a long time between bets here and that's fine um, but since nobody else is placing chips on the table 
I find it really interesting as to what the wait is. Maybe there's a certain time they have to wait no matter what because there's people online playing. I don't know. I, I love this live table, guys. I have to say, I, I do find this bounces more true to form. I, I mean, there are crazy bounces, like I've mentioned. Things go out of the pocket, into the pocket, spin, English, all that. I'm just not noticing the wackiness that I see over on stake and bet MGM and all that. So I prefer the live wheel. I don't know about you guys. I mean, evolution tables, I've seen people win on them consistently, even with the crazy bounces. You let me know in the comments what you think, but I, I kind of like it here. Um, and this is where we're gonna stay, so. All right, here we go. We're looking for a two to six, seven to 11 corner right now. I'm trying to get past 591. Here we go. Titan is ready. All right, Titan. Titan, you wanna say hi? Come up. Come on, say hi. Yeah, there it is. You can see I'm Titan. There's the 11 again. That's my number. The 11, I love it. Okay, get down. That's a win of $9. Now to 597. So we'll go right back to the 11. That's a hot corner right there. 597 is our new high. And this is definitely a slow, true grind system. Uh, this definitely is in line with my method, you know, grinding out wins, especially starting at dollar bets. I could have done $5 bets, but again, you go up units in five, you're asking for trouble if you don't get those corners to hit. And with a, you know, $500, $600 bankroll to start, that would go really quick. So we're going to build it here. And again, we're up, you know, um, about 90 some odd bucks today to start with slots and roulette. So it's a good start to the day. But as you know, staying at the roulette table for a long period of time, your profits will slide. So take the money and run. Um, I can't believe we hit on that automated roulette thing, roulette rounders. That actually worked and I was chicken. I could have kept playing it, probably wouldn't went down, but I saw you go back up. So maybe I will go back and play it again. I'm just nervous. I just, that, that was crazy to hit that, but man, it worked. That was pretty cool. So go check that Roulette Rounders video out on how he plays the automated roulette algorithm system. And it worked, I have to say. So, but again, I chickened out <laughs> at 40 bucks. I'm like, I'm out, I'm done, that's profit. We're good, we're good, that's it. Um, we're, we're good, we'll take it, it's fine. Take the money and run. I'm not gonna let state take my money again. Nope, nope, nope. You know what's interesting here? Um, I, I, I definitely do enjoy this wheel. I, I wish you could see who is playing electronically with you at the same time? It only scrolls the winners as they happen, but I would love to see like a list of people at the table just to see how many are playing with us at the same time. But they don't give you that option, so. We are taking a long time for this bet. Um, I will pause you guys next time because it's not fair to make you wait like this. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what's going on, so. This is a long time to wait between spins now. Now I'm getting a little bit upset, so. Move it along, let's go. Come on. So yeah, um, coming up we have the Rangers round two playoff game. Looks like they'll be playing the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, they beat the Islanders, so. I'm not afraid of the Canes. I think the Rangers can take them. I'm very confident they're going to win the next round. So send your love and support to the Rangers in the comments. Uh, we need it. And again, please, if you're enjoying this content, if you're having fun watching all these systems being played out, please give a thumbs up. Please give a like. It's really important for the channel to grow. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and appreciate all your support. Can't thank you enough. We've grown from day one, you know, 38 days ago. Over 700 subscribers is beyond my wildest dreams. So uh, I'm not all on black. You know, I don't have the 6,000 followers and I may never will, but I'm doing this for, for love of roulette and, and interaction with you guys. So um, it's kind of the every man gambler. Um, win, lose, win, lose, but we're trying to make a profit. We're having fun at the same time. So I hope you're having fun watching this. Okay, something is up at the table. I'm going to pause you guys. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. We had a dealer chain. He's waiting for the dealer. I wanted to get in the zero and its neighbor's bet, but I did not. So if a zero, uh, 28 to uh, anything near the zero hits, I'll be upset. And it was, and that's a 12. So we just missed our corner. 
So this is very interesting here now. This is the first for this system. Um, the 12 corner hit. So we're kind of playing double corners here. I'm not sure if I like that or not, but we're gonna stick with the corners here. Um, not sure what happens on a, on a double corner. We're sharing numbers now. Um, we're not covering as much as the board, but we're gonna play it. So um, glad the zero and his neighbors didn't hit because we missed on that one. But I love playing that when a new dealer comes in. Um, we are playing on a double zero wheel. Again, advice, play on the single zero European wheel. Your odds are greatly increased from a 5.4 house edge to a 2.7 house edge. So you have a little more of an advantage playing only on a single wheel. Unfortunately, the live table is an American double zero wheel. So we have that extra whack of that double zero and that adds a lot. So I recommend playing on European uh, single zero wheel, but today we are at the double zero wheel. I mean, with this strategy, who knows? It's totally random roulette. You know, in the long run, you probably can't beat roulette. It's been proven. We know that, but we're having fun and we still have a profit. That's all I can say about this channel. Somehow, we still have money in the bank, so we haven't lost our shirt. Okay, 22, moving down the other side of the board. I like it, I like it. So we will repeat the bet. And again, we're only playing dollars, but it does add up in a hurry. So we're playing the corner of the last number that hit. Now, how do I decide if it's gonna be 22, 23, 25, 26, 19, 22, 23? How do I decide what corner? That's just random on me. I picked it. You could pick the 22, 23, 25, 26. You know, when the 11 hit, right? You could pick the 11, 12, 14, 15 corner for sure. This is just how I'm playing it, is just picking the corner that I wanna play. So you do you, you pick whatever corner you wanna play. Um, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just picking what I see fit. But there are a lot of different strategies for the corners to play. So we're looking for the seven to 12 or the 19 to 23 corners. 25 is a miss. So now we're up to our four. This is our highest bet we've had. And we will go over to, you know what? I'm not gonna share that corner with the 23 on this one. And in fact, when this hit before, when we hit on the 12, I probably should have moved it over one here to the 11, the 15, 14 even, I would say. So this one probably should be here. Now, if I move it, you know that eight and nine is hit, right? But let's do it. Let's be risky. If the nine hits, we got a problem. But let's go 15, 14 over here. 11, 12, just a feeling. All right, we got a player. I'm gonna pause you guys and we'll come right back. All right, so we have a new player putting some chips on the inside. Looks like we're rooting for her for her nine or 12, but we don't want that nine because we moved off it just now. If a nine hits, it's time to run outside, I think. So we're not looking for that nine. Fourteen's a hit. There we go, up to 596. So that is pretty much basically where we had last session profit. So we're gonna stop and restart now uh, with the last number hit, the 14. And I wanna stay in the 14, 15, 17, 18 corner here. So 597, in essence, is where we wanted to get to. We're $1 short of it. Uh, I'm just gonna reset. I could have kept the bet, you know, as the same. We're gonna reset, we're gonna start over. And we have lost the server. So this is definitely a true grind system, everyone. 36, all the way on the other side. So repeat the bet and add a corner. Let me know in the comments what you think of the add a corner method. So far it's working nicely. Um, I will go play other things as well today. Um, don't want to make this too long a video for you. Yesterday was a pretty long video. Um, we've been playing for, I don't know, 25 or so minutes. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this too agonizingly long for you guys. Now, I do put chapters in, so you can skip ahead to things you want to see. Like, if you don't want to watch the slots, you could skip right ahead to the roulette. Or, if you just want to go to the end, you could just fast forward to the end and see if I made money or not. But we don't want you to do that. We want you to watch and be entertained. We want you to be entertained. So that's a hit. 33 gets it to 602. That's a $6 hit. And we will continue on. It is working. So we will stay in the 33 corner. 
But this is truly a grind system. We started at 588. Um, I think I'd be happy in, in the way this is going to try to get to 625. Let's get 24 more dollars with this um, and we'll see. All right, I'm gonna pause you, be right back uh, until he's spin. All right, we're back, he's spinning, that was pretty quick. Uh, just a few numbers uh, they're playing on the board. So here we go. Looking for that 32 to 36 corner, repeat it. 31, we were close, 31. Hey, 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 what happened? What'd you do? Titan is yelping. Are you okay, buddy? Is your paw okay? What's up with your paw? Stop licking your paw. Stop. Stop it. My black lab is licking his paws like crazy. That's all he does is lick his paws all the time. I'm not sure what's up with him. And he's hurting himself. Don't lick your paws. Stop it. Don't lick your paws. I don't know if it's a black lab thing. He's just licking his paws constantly. And I think he over licked it. Stop it, you're gonna hurt yourself. God, crazy dog. Let me know in the comments if you have a dog or have had a dog. That black lab especially, they are nuts. God. All right, we're looking for that side of the board, not over there, don't go over there. All right, we got some adversity. We gotta get this now, come on. So this is our third corner. We wanna go over to the five. We can play four, five, seven, eight, two, three, five, six. I'm gonna go four, five, seven, eight. Now these corners can go a long time without hitting. So we could be in for a bad run, but we don't wanna do that. So he's really spinning quick now. All right, we're looking for 28 to 32, 32 to 36 or four to eight is what we are looking for. Just missed it on the 25. All right, so this is our first, I believe, four corner ad, or maybe our second. We're gonna go right here with this 22 to 26. So now, if this misses, I can either A, add one more corner uh, and increase the bet, which will cut into the profit, or I could just play the four corners like that. So there's a lot of interesting strategy here. Again, we were at 602 as our high, 602. So as the bets increase, the more we can make, obviously, but the more we can lose. Twenty-eight. We do win the nine. Back to six oh one. So basically, that's our six oh two right there. So we're back to where we started from, honestly. So we're back basically to the 602 level, 601, same thing. I'm not gonna double the bet there on those four. I could have stayed and doubled the bet and had a chance to make more money and lose more money, so. All right, let's see, spinning the wheel here. Looking for that five to nine corner. Oh, it was 28, wasn't it? Last number was 28. Last number was 28, that's where we wanna be, 28. So I messed that up. We hit on the 28 corner, not the five. Talking to you guys. All right, there's the one. So we wanna bet on the one corner and the 28 corner, right? One and 28 corner. I could increase to $2 units. Um, I could do that, but we'll stay at the one and see if we can get another one here. This is definitely a grinding system. You can do this um, by adding splits instead of corners as well. That would be a fun method. Maybe we'll do that next where we just add the splits on the last hits. Um, again, it's less numbers covered. I'm not sure how much you want to go up there. Thirty-five. 
So now we decide which corner down there we want to play on the 35. We'll go low here, 31 to 35. We have a $3 bet out there. You do want the bets to progress to make more money, for sure. You do. Um, but at the same time, you want to conserve bankroll. But if we're ever going to get anywhere, I think we might have to increase, honestly. But like I said, these corners can go many spins without ever seeing the light of day, 100%. Um, I could bring up Roulette Profit and Stops tool and chart this table and see which corner areas are the cold corners and the hot corners, right? And we could kind of play either the cold corners because they might hit or the hot corners, follow the hot, you know, we could do that. So uh, maybe the next time I play this system, I'll, I'll do it in conjunction with his tool and we can really see what's going on in the board to track it. I think that's what we do next time. But right now we're just playing last to hit. It's an easy method to, to try. All right, we got some dollar changing coming in. I will pause and we'll be right back. And we are back spinning. We're looking for the one to five, the 25 to 29, or 31 to 35 corner. We just missed, there's the three, we just missed. All right, repeat the bet, go over to the three corner. Now we have four corners. I can go ahead and go up a unit now on each. I may add the next corner also to give us some more coverage. See what next corner hits because we are covering this side of the board and that side, we're missing a ton of numbers here. Uh, we have six, 10, we have 14 numbers covered, which is a little less than half the board. What's the matter, Titan? What's going on, man? The life of a black lab, poor guy. Stop hurting yourself. Yeah, I talk to my dog uh, regularly and he talks back, which is crazy. All right, so here we go. Um, we're gonna pause as he's changing money, be right back. All right, the ball is spinning, here we go. Looking for the one to six, 25 to 29, 31 to 35 corner. Right now it's a $8 bet, trying to get to 602. Thirty-six, not a hit. How about that? Thirty-six, not a hit. We'll repeat the bet. Uh, we need to go up a unit now. We stick with the four. I'm not going to add in the thirty-six corner here. We're going to stay with these corners here. We're missing a big chunk of the middle of the board. Um, I think if something hits in the middle of the board, I will add that one to have a little coverage. But let's see if we can get a repeater through these corners here. We now have a $12 bet. So this is what happens, right? You, you lose on these corners, they don't hit for quite some time, and you're going up, you're chasing on your bet here. But when you win, when you hit, you hopefully make back that loss because you're, you're betting more. So let's see what happens here. It's a $12 bet. All right, while we are waiting, I will pause. And all right, the wheel is spinning. Uh, on the next win, I do need to take a break and uh, take care of the dog and do some stuff and I will pause and come back. So let's get a win so I can go take care of that. 13, not ahead. This could get ugly. <laughs> Repeat the bet, um, add a unit. And I'm not gonna add the 13 corner in. I'm gonna stay with what we have. This is now a $16 bet. We're looking for one of these numbers here. One to six, 25 to 35 to hit. So it's not a lot of coverage here. It's, you know, it's six, 10, 14 numbers all in the same kind of area on the board. I could have added the 13 in here. I could have added the 36 in here, but I'm choosing not to. We're gonna go with just the 14 that we have. Let's see if we can get a hit here, because I really gotta take care of this guy. 
And I want to play this 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 uh, session out here. You can see how the bet progresses. It adds up. Oh, we just missed it. 27. Wow. Okay. We got to continue. We're now at five each. We're getting up there. We need one of these babies to hit on the corner. And I think I'm past my stop loss, I think, that I set one. If we started with 588, I wanted to go to 500, right? So we don't have many more spins to get it. Um, that was my stop loss for this system. And that would crush out the profit we made in slots and automated roulette again. <laughs> what goes up, what comes down, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, I'll pause you until we get to the next. All right, we're back. We're looking for one to six or 25 to 35. Let's see if we can get it. We need it bad. Let's go. Been a long time coming. Twenty-one. That is another loss. The wheel is not being kind to us right now. Repeat the bet. We're giving it a run. Playing it out. It'd be a nice hit if one of these do hit. That's what we're looking for. And again, I could have added more corners in the middle of the board. To give us more choice, I believe the system is four corners and done. Uh, I could have added the 27 corner, I could have added the 21 corner, the 13 corner. Um, I'm gonna stick right here with it. We're looking for this side and this side of the board. I'll pause you, I'll be right back. And it's spun. We need a lot of help here. Let's get one of our guys to hit here. Thirty-two, we got it. There's a fifty-four dollar win, so we got some of it back. Um, if we were doubling, we definitely would have made it back. You know what? That's it for the corners here. We're down about twenty bucks with it. Not bad. I need to go walk my dog. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We are now at five sixty-nine. Remember, we started here at five eighty-eight. Want to go back to um, something that might bite me in the butt or might be successful? I've seen. Others succeed and fail doing this. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna go longest to hit 12 and column. And I know there are runs of a long time of these things not hitting and we will Fibonacci it. So we have the 14, we have the 28. So that means we're gonna be on first 12. And then as for the column, we have the 28 and we have the 14. So we're gonna go up to the third column and we'll Fibonacci it and we will move on the winner and hopefully get a jackpot. I need a bigger piece of paper to track. Excuse me. If I mess up the camera, hopefully you can still see me, I don't know. So, 569 was our start. We're on first 12. For one, and we are on third column for one. And we will Fibonacci up the way. And I will have a, uh, a stop loss at some point. I won't chase between, I don't know, 55 level? I don't know, but let's see if we can not get some streaks to happen and get some bonuses and get out of here. You could do this at $5 units. You could do this at $10 units. I'm choosing to do $1 units. So here we go. We're looking for our jackpot numbers of three, six, nine, 12. And we will keep the 12 the same that doesn't hit and move the 12 that does hit. Fibonacci, double Fibonacci. So that is a hit on number seven. So we repeat the bet here. We're on the second one for the third. And now we need to move the 12. So we have a seven and we have a 28. So the second 12 is now longest to hit at one. 
So that brought us to 570 is our new high. 570. We got to... All right, I'll bring you back when they... And they spun. We're looking for a second 12 and a third column intersection hit here for the jackpot. If it misses on the third, we will go up to two on the third. We're on the first one of the second 12. Twenty-six is a total miss. So we go up to two here. And we're at, still on one here. We're on the second one on the second 12. I'll pause you. We'll be right back. We're back. We have a new dealer that just came in. <laughs> I missed the uh, zero neighbors bet. Let's see if zero and its neighbors comes up here. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I'd like to try to get back over $600 here. That would be ideal with this. There is a hit. So second column hit. Unfortunately, the third, I mean, second 12 hit. Unfortunately, third column now needs to go to three. We go up a unit there. Um, we switch our second 12, so we have 20, 26. We go back to the first for our dollar. We're doing the Fibonacci sequence. One, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21, 34, it gets high, so let's hope we can get some wins early and get out of here. So we made it up to 568 again. Losing a little bit because we're not getting those jackpot hits. We're just getting one at a time. It's keeping us in the game. We want to get those jackpot hits. This is our double Fibonacci buster here on the 12s and the columns. And we have seen columns go on this channel 20, 25 spins. So. It is a risk, but we're gonna risk it for the biscuit today. Here we go. Let's get a jackpot. Let's get a three, six, nine, or 12, or let's get a third column. That would be ideal. We are on $3 now for a third column. Be an equal opportunity spinner. Thirty-one is a loss. So now we go up to five and our second one. We're up to five, and this will be our second one dollar on the first 12. All right, I'll pause and come right back when these. All right, we've spun. We are looking for that third column or the first 12 in the worst way here. Um, I've seen other users play this and they have success. I never seem to have success with the 12s and the columns but we're gonna give it a shot here on the resorts wheel here. <laughs> 35, up the ladder we go. This is, this is a lot of fun. Now, repeat the bet. We need to go up to eight. And now we need to go to two on the second 12. I mean, the first 12. And you can see the Fibonacci progression gets high, but when it hits, it will reward you. But in this case, we need the jackpot to hit. We need, we're looking for that section. But a third column would be ideal right now. And we're seeing it happen before our eyes. We're on one, two, three, four, five, six spins in a row of that third column going missing. So I, I do think the inside bets are usually better bet for success, but I've seen other members, roulette players, have success doing this. I know you can't win every time it's roulette, the house has the edge, but let's get a third column for goodness sake. Come on now. We can do it. Okay, we got the first 12 to hit. Not that ideal because we need to go to 13 now on this guy right here. So that was the first 12. We need to move it over to the second 12 now, and it's a $1 bet. So we're down again here, down to 540. 
We're now on 13 of that third column going missing. I don't like the third column. Now you can play follow the winner as well. You don't have to go opposite, follow the loser basically here, long as to hit. You could go with the streak. You could go the 12 that just hit and play it out that way. For sure, there's a lot of ways to play it. I'd love to see the odds on which is better, if any. This is the tough strategy. You know, you gotta hit that. If you get on a streak in losses, which we are, we're gonna get in a lot of trouble really fast. Because our bankroll is not that high to continue to do this, in all honesty. The first 12 hit. Holy smokes. Okay, this might be this the stop loss point here, chasing this this crazy third column here. Um, we're up to 21 on Fibonacci now here. We're at the second 12. One here. And this will just really bring us down here. This third column has just gone to sleep on us. So tell me in the comments if you like this system or don't like it. It's not playing out good for us right now. It's roulette. This happens. This is this is what happens with it. But we will try to grind it back. That's what we do here on this channel. We will try to grind it back, as they say. Ah, that is killer. My goodness here. Wow, awful. Just awful. Second 12 goes to two. Uh, third 12, you stink. That would be a $34 bet now. This is the last run at it. This is at 34 on here. And if it doesn't hit, that's it. We're done with it. I tried and it just isn't gonna hit. We've gone from 570 to 482 here. So it's a you know 90 some odd bucks on this method. It just, we need a third in the worst way. And if it doesn't hit, we tried. That was it. We gave it a run. I'll just have to build it back. I'm not gonna go any further on Fibonacci. That's gonna be it. Sorry, everyone out there. It's, uh, it's tough, wanna keep my bankroll. Oh, wow, second 12, big deal. Up to 488. All right, that experiment is over. We're done with that. Um, for killer giggles, we would need to go to $55 on that third, which I'm not gonna do. How much do you want to bet the third 12 is coming out now, but I'm not going to play it. Uh, I'll be right back and give you the results of that. Just want to bring you back and see if the third column hits and we can all laugh at me. We would be at a $55 bet on the third here. Nope, number one, we would have lost. That's a good no bet. That's a win. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. All right, that was a tough break. Let's go back to what worked for us kind of yesterday. We'll go back to David's system. We're gonna go split the zero, 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 and two. And I know a zero just came out back to back, so the chances of zero not coming out are pretty slim, but it could happen. We'll go the one unit on the second column. We'll go two units on our double streets. We'll go the four, nine. We'll go the 16 to 22. I mean, 16 to 21, excuse me and the 28 to 33 double street here. So we're looking for our intersecting jackpots of the middle column again here. We're starting out with 488 is where we started, 488. And see if we can grind back some of this money that we blew with Fibonacci and the columns and the dozens. So not a great strategy today for me, but that's okay, we will grind it back. That's the idea, or at least we'll try. 11 is a $3 win, so that is a little bit of a loss. On total losses, we will go up a unit. That was a partial win. Partial wins will stay right here. On total losses, we'll go up a unit. We're gonna reset on the double street and column hit, or the jackpots. Again, this is David's system. Uh, he's been tweaking it in his lab. I believe he might have another system for us that, that could work. Again, these systems work until they don't. 
Uh, they don't all work all the time. It's random when it's going to hit. You don't know. There are some really safe, you know, high number coverage systems out there that work more than others. I like playing all these different things for you on the channel. So again, if you have a system you want me to try, there is a Google Doc uh, form in this description of this video. Go fill it out and I will try your system. Remember, double zero club members get priority of their play first. So we do need to get these double streets and second columns to hit here. I see a 26 had hit and a 20 earlier. Those are the two and the 11 uh, just hit in the, the second column there. And you could change these double streets to whatever you wanted as a matter of fact, as to what's hit and whatever your fancy is. That's a $12 win on the 30. Gets us to 487, so back to where we started. So basically we're at 487. Um, that was good to hit the double street. And again, on total losses, we will go up a unit. And on five losses, um, we probably will go up a double, I believe. Don't wanna do that. But. All right, here we go. Chips on the table. Let's get one of these jackpots to hit us. Nice. Here we go. is a loss so that is a total loss we will go up a unit on each oh that should be a one but the twos now go to four so we now have a $16 bet and let me know in the comments what you think of uh, David's system you like it you don't like it let's let's give it a run yeah, I really cannot still believe that we hit on a slot machine earlier today and we hit on electronic roulette over there. Um, really crazy to hit that. And yeah, I chickened out. You know, my first win, I'm out, I'm done. I could have kept playing it and who knows what would have happened. Knowing my luck, I would have lost the $200 I put in there. So uh, let me know in the comments if I should have continued or not. Um, it's gambling. I should have gambled more, right? But. I just was feeling, let's take their money and run at that point. It was a nice $40 or so win. So let's get a double street second column hit here. That would be awesome. We're looking for a 5, 8, 17, 20, 29, 32 as our jackpots. And also the 2 and the 0, double zero. There it is. There's our jackpot of $30. That gets us back to 493 and we can reset the original bet. Play the split, play the second, and we'll go back to $2 on our double streets. And again, you can move these double streets as you see fit. So you could play it, you know, as last double street hit, longest to hit. You can definitely rotate these double streets. David does not in his method, so I'm playing it true to him. But I wonder if we do rotate, what would have happened here? If we look at the last, you know, four, let's say double streets, right? So we have the 11 and 29, and we have the 30 and 12, and there's always a lot of repeats, right? So that 11 and 12, this double street hit often here. So maybe that's a hot double street. But again, it's random. Who knows what's gonna happen? If I move these double streets, I bet the four to nine would hit, or the 16 to 21, or the 20 to 33. So, Again, let me know in the comments if I should be moving these double streets with our new bet. That's something we could try. Um, David, if you're watching, if you're commenting, let me know what you think on that. If you want to switch the double streets around because I like variety. Um, maybe after we reset, we do move the double streets. We could do it. 
Um, I wonder if I have time to do it now before she spins. Um, no, I don't. We'll stay right here for this go. Maybe on the next win, we'll move those double streets around for a little variety. Um, and then you know what's gonna happen is the double streets that I had will hit. It's guaranteed, guaranteed. So here we go. Let's get another second column hit here. Or at least a double street. That is not good. So I was saying we should move to the 10 double street and it hit. What do you know? So that is a full loss. That means we need to now go up a unit on each here and $2 here. And that just stinks. What can you do? That just stinks. We'll get him next time. Trying to get back to 493 is where we want to get to, 493. Let's see if David's system can hold up and, and do some magic for us again. We had a nice hit on the double street before. Let's see if we can get it again. Anything in those double streets or that second column would be ideal. Give us at least a partial one. All right, while they are setting up the chips here, here we go. Let's make sure we're recording. We are, all right. I'll have to check the time of this video between the next spin. I don't wanna make this go too long for you guys today. Um, again, we're down a little bit. We did have that nice 80 plus win to start, and now we're down a little bit here at Mohegan. 23 is a small loss there. So that brings us to 475. We need to stay on this bet here. That was the 23. And again, moving those double streets would have helped out, you know, us right there. So we do need a double street hit. We do need a second column hit. I'm gonna pause while she's doing the chips and things. All right, we are back. We are a little over an hour and five minutes here in the studio. There's a lot of waiting around with the wheel. So that's some of the time for this video. My goal is not to make these videos hours and hours long. Who wants to watch that? But I am trying to make a profit, make it back, and that's what happens sometimes during these videos. Um, you try a lot of different systems, you go up, you go down. It is a definite roller coaster when I play, for sure. 24, ay ay ay. Okay, that is a total loss. We need to go up a unit again. David System, what is going on, David System? And I guess I should have moved the double streets, like I had said in my head, and I didn't do it. And now I'm stuck wanting to just continue to play because if I move them, I guarantee you they'll hit, right? So we're gonna stay. But I think after a jackpot hit, we will change double streets up. I think that's the way to play this system. Um, I love trying it out. It's okay that we're down a little bit. We will hopefully come back. So while she's counting out money and chips, we'll be right back. So we're back. We do have a lot of wax with this system. Um, 10, 12, 13, 15, 22, 24, 25, 27, 34, 36. So there are quite a few wax. And also the one and the three um, is a wax. So we do have a lot of wax on this board. Trying to avoid them right now. We do need a win here. David system. 22 black. It's one of our wax. <sighs> Roulette is a funny game, everybody. We go up the ladder again. This is what we do here. Um, we would need one of these double streets to hit big time for us now, as we are going down the depths. Okay, here we go. I'll pause and come right back with this. We're back with the spin. Let's get one of these double streets to hit the four to nine, the 16 to 21, the 28 to 33. What do you say, wheel? Give us a double street. We've had awful luck on your wheel today. We're due for something good. We got a double street. That's a $48 win. That brings us to 451. Okay, climbing back a little bit. So, decision time, again, is to stay here at the same bet and try to get another hit, right? Or 
I could just say, you know what, I'm done with the system. It just didn't work, you know. We started it at 488, we're at 451. We lost 30 some odd bucks playing it. Um, I know I should probably play it out. I wanna try to save my bankroll for other things, but we do wanna make our money back, so. I don't know, what would you guys do in the comments here? Would you continue playing? We've had such a bad streak, it's been tough to uh, hit these streets, these double streets for sure. Crazy game, for sure. Can we get a repeat on the double streets that we have is the question. Questions we want answered. What would All on Black do? <laughs> all on Black wouldn't be playing this strategy, I don't think. He'd be playing nine streets at random and winning, losing it and winning it back. It's amazing to watch. Okay, we're gonna have to make a decision here. Do we go another run on that high bet? and try to get a hit. Do we not bet? I'm really indecisive on this one, David. No offense. But the system, the method, we'll repeat it, is it's not hitting too well today. I could go back to base and start over as a matter of fact. I don't have to bet $32. We'd have to grind back, you know, our, our win. But then if one of these double streets were to hit, and we didn't have it we, on a small bet, I'd be really upset too. So it's a great question, a great conundrum to have here. Um, just because we're not in profit does not mean we need to do it, but we're gonna stick with it. Let's roll, let's gamble, we're going. Or not. Maybe she gives us time here to think about it a little more. Now the more you think and the more you lose, all right? We're not thinking, we're going for it. We are gonna play it. Let's get one of these jackpots, David. Let's get one of these to hit. We're looking for the five or the eight, the 17, the 20, the 29, the 32. Let's get one of our double streets to hit as well. Here we go. Ah, 11, 12 bucks. Not good, that is my number, number 12. That is a street that's been hitting a ton. Wow, David, 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 man. Just the wheel, it's the wheel. It's not you, David, it's just the wheel. What can you do? All right, everyone. We've lost 50 bucks on this system. We're gonna stop it right here. Uh, David, thanks for the system, we'll be back. And we're back with the recap here on day number 39. We lost a total of $75. It's been a over an hour session. I don't wanna grind out anymore. A um, lot of stuff to do here. Um, so we won in the beginning, a uh, little over 80 something bucks. Uh, we lost about 150 or so on Mohegan, uh, which brings us to the minus 75 for the day. Um, we're still up close to $1,500 for this challenge. We've been kind of hovering around here at the same level. We do need to get going and make some money. Um, want to make this entertaining for everyone, but I also want to make a profit and show you that I can do this as well. So we still have bankroll. We still have money in the vault. Um, this $67 is actually included in the vault. I'm just keeping it here to show you our total that we have. Um, I will change that in the next spreadsheet. Um, please go ahead and like the video. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe. Also, please, if you want to join the Double Zero Club uh, exclusive member perks, they'll be watching this video first. And thank you all so much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.